Hi guys, yes, that's Kaka Lucir Tata to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're making another delicious chicken dinner that is going to be ready in about an hour. The whole thing is so easy to make. Really, it takes probably 10 minutes just to put the whole thing together. A little over an hour for this to bake in the oven. And you'll have dinner on the table that, a, that the whole family will love. It's also really nice to serve to company. If you want a nice idea for something for a dinner party, look no further. This is going to be absolutely delicious. So I'm going to be using chicken quarters today. These are the leg and thighs. So you can use any cut of chicken that you want that has the bone in. If you're using skin, a boneless, skinless chicken breast, the timing is going to be off. It's not going to be right. You're going to have, you're going to end up with overcooked chicken breast. So I'll alter that recipe. If you do want to use chicken breast on the blog post, you can check that out there. But for this recipe, you are going to need something with the bone in so that we can be nice and juicy and delicious and not overcooked, which is really important. Let's get started. So the recipe is written with uh, using six chicken um, quarters, but I'm using more because we, we're a big family. So I needed a little bit more chicken. We're going to begin by marinating the chicken or seasoning it. And it's a very simple Greek style seasoning with lemon juice. We begin with lots of lemon juice. I'm using the juice of two lemons because we have lots of chicken here. I could have taken out my citrus juicer, but who wants to wash one more thing, right? Next, we're going to need salt. Some cracked black pepper. Dried oregano, of course. Some ground cumin. If you're not a fan of cumin, feel free to use coriander instead, or you can even add some coriander on here as well. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to toss the chicken so that way it can just be coated evenly. And you know what? I forgot to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. Just a little bit because these chicken thighs and drumsticks are pretty fatty. And I'm just going to set this aside while I get everything else prepared. So over here I have four bell peppers. You can use any color peppers that your heart likes or desires. And we're just going to cut around them so that way we can get around all of the seeds. So I'm just going to cut these into slices, just like this. Each one of the slices maybe get cut into three pieces, depending on how big they are, or how small they are. Put 
put all of the bell pepper slices in a big baking tray. You can use a half sheet baking tray or a nine by 13 inch tray, either one will do. And you can add six to eight garlic cloves. You can just take the whole garlic cloves and with your knife, just smash them a little. If you like uh, smaller pieces of garlic cloves, then you can finely chop this. But I like it when they roast in the oven and then I kind of mash them up in my, in my plate. It almost makes a little sauce. Then I have some grape tomatoes. I'm just gonna throw those in as well. And I have an onion. I'm just gonna peel it first and I'm gonna slice it into two pieces or cut it into two pieces and then slice each piece into half moons, thin slices. And go ahead and put them in the tray. Drizzle some olive oil on top. Season them with a little bit of salt. I also like to add some crushed red pepper flakes for some heat. You can leave it out if you don't like it. Just give everything a quick toss. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and put six of the chicken pieces on top. And the rest, I'm just gonna arrange them in this tray because they're gonna bake separately, but it's, there's gonna be more chicken. I feel like these vegetables are enough to feed about six or eight people, but in my house, everybody really goes heavy on the chicken and, or on whatever the protein is, so I do like to make extra. Plus, it makes for great leftovers, so you can take this and put it on top of salad or make it into a sandwich the next day. So many options. So my oven is preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This is gonna go in the oven and it's gonna bake uncovered for about between an hour to an hour and 15 to 20 minutes. You, you know that it's ready when the internal temperature of the chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to even turn on the broiler for the last 10 minutes so it can get a little bit crispy on top. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. So one thing that I did that we forgot to film, I had two or three potatoes in my fridge that I needed to use. So what I did, I just peeled them and cut them into cubes and I threw them in right before I put it in the oven. I just mixed them around so that way they can get the seasoning from the chicken and from the veggies. It took an hour and 10 minutes until the chicken was ready. And for the last five, six minutes, I just put it underneath the broiler so the chicken skin can get nice and crisp and golden and it looks beautiful just the way it should. So today I'm serving it with these, this delicious feta cheese bread that I made. If the recipe's not up yet, it will be the next one up, so look out for it. If it is up, then I'll put the link down below where you can make that bread if you wanna serve it with this chicken and peppers because it goes great. Otherwise, you can serve this with some lemon orzo, some cauliflower rice, or even some Mediterranean rice pilaf. Anything would be delicious with this. Just some simple toasted bread would be good to soak up all of the sauce that comes out from the chicken and from the veggies. It's just gonna be so delicious. Serve it with some lemon wedges. It is time to take a bite. And the skin is nice and crisp the way it should be if you're cooking the chicken with the skin. I'll take a bell pepper. Delicious and super hot. Let it cool a little bit before you serve it. The chicken is so juicy and flavorful. You could definitely marinate it a day ahead of time and keep it refrigerated until you're ready to bake it and then just put it on top of the veggies and bake it in the oven. But there's a lot of flavor in the seasoning so you can just do it straight away if you're in a hurry like on a busy weeknight. The bell peppers are sweet and soft as is the onion and the garlic should, if you press it with a fork, it should melt. The potatoes are perfectly cooked. Everything comes together in no time. I'm gonna dip some of this bread in the sauce that's been created. Mmm. 
so delicious. You could throw some olives in here too. There's so much you could do with this dish. If you're making it a little bit different, let me know how you're doing it in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.